How do mime artists welcome to what we have today, the Ultra Challenge Zygarde going in with Tyranitar, Exernius with the Quirky Plus Curum with the Eject Plus Plus and Black Curum for the Swap Plus Plus using a plus 5 moves, Mega Start and Disruption Delay. Plenty of pluses going into this. Two hearts for this stage and it is very difficult. When they say ultra stage, they mean ultra stage. This is a Pokemon I've already captured. I'm not sure about yourselves, but it's a fantastic one to have. And what you want to do with this stage is get the Tyranitar working, get all of the disruptions off of the board because there will be a lot of breakable blocks that come down the way. And they're easy enough to deal with, make a match, use the Tyranitar to break against them, no issue there. Really, but what the issue is, is just how tanky this stage is. That's a plus 5 moves that I have used, and I wasn't too happy with the number of moves left, but this stage is just so, so... Tanky, one of probably the tankiest stages. If I were to have gone in with something like a, an attack, attack power up, probably could have beaten it with maybe five, ten moves left, somewhere in that range. Didn't want to spend all of those coins, wanted to give you the opportunity to beat it without spending too much. So what was that, maybe 8,000 coins just to just to beat it if you've not yet captured it, maybe try going in with the attack power up, that would probably be a lot very helpful, probably give you a much higher catch rate. Apart from that, yep, just the main thing to do is keep making matches and at this stage the disruptions don't really show up too much but when they do there'll be some Yvettles in there there's some Zygarde's in there that's one of the reasons I brought the Zygarde I tried doing this with an all dragon team and it wasn't even nearly as good you need the Zygarde because it will disrupt with quite a few Zygarde's in due course and once it does that it can start just disrupting itself, which is always a delightful thing to happen. You don't really need to bring the Zygarde, the Yvettel in as well. That's completely unnecessary. It's good to have the Xerneas, it's super effective, it's got a very good ability, very good skill that can come in handy. The Yvettel, what's it, Block Smash, Block Smash Plus, something like that. It's not really going to be useful on this stage. I only encountered unbreakable blocks one time. You'll see that probably in another couple of moves. Apart from that, I'm terrible at using the Tyranitar. I just tend to go where the disruptions are, or if I can see that there could be something good that could come out of it. Not the best at using it. There's some people you can probably find online who are incredible. But this is just a normal strategy, nothing too special, it's just going to get as much out of the way as possible and help you beat the stage in as few coins and moves as possible. See, this is the only time that I did come up against the uh, unbreakable blocks, but they can all be beaten with just one Tyranitar if you know where to put them. I tried doing this quite a few ways itemless. I tried using a uh, full eject team, so that was using Tyranitar, uh, Manaphy, and Exelgor, as well as the White Curum there. And that absolutely terrible because there are so many disruptions. It's every turn, every couple of turns, you've got Zygarde, you've got Yvettel, and it's a pain. I'm sure you can guess where the pain occurs. See, one move left, and I was worried I may not get it, but no issues there. A tasty four combo just to finish off. I'm not exactly sure about the catchability right, but if you go in with, I'd say, what I used, maybe an attack 
power up. If you've not caught it, that would be more than enough to get a fine catch light on this. So thank you very much for watching and how do my martists? Eggs! Eggs! E-double-G-S eggs!